Let me begin by thanking the Government of India and the Confederation of Indian Industry for hosting this year's launch of the Global Innovation Index 2019, Creating Healthy Lives, the Future of Medical Innovation. In particular, I would like to thank our Chief Guest, the Honorable Minister, for releasing the World Intellectual Property Organization's Global Innovation Index 2019. A few words about the GII. It is indeed my proud privilege to present before you the main findings of the 12th ed edition of the Global Innovation Index. The GII ranks the innovation performance of 129 economies around the world relying on 80 indicators. These indicators capture the institutional environment for innovation, the education system, research and development activity, the infrastructure for innovation, and different forms of knowledge, technology, and creative outputs. So what is the theme for GII 2019? Every year, the GII is dedicated to a special theme that explores how innovation contributes to economic growth and improved living standards. Recent themes focused on energy innovation, innovation in agri-food industry, the globalization of innovation, and effective innovation policies for development, just to name a few. This year's theme is Creating Healthy Lives, the Future of Medical Innovation, a topic which interests each and every one of us. In the GII report, experts from different countries and different stakeholder groups share their perspectives on what they see as key innovations that will shape the future of healthcare. What are the key findings? What do they include? Artificial intelligence, genomics, and mobile health applications will transform the delivery of healthcare in both developed and emerging nations. The convergence of digital and te biological technologies is disrupting healthcare and increasing the importance of data integration across, across the health ecosystem. Emerging markets have a unique opportunity to benefit from medical innovations and invest in new healthcare delivery models to catch up with the developed countries. And developments in India offer testimony to these trends, where investments in technology hold substantive promise to expand healthcare services to poor communities. Perhaps there could be no better place than India to discuss this vital as well as relevant topic. India, ladies and gentlemen, has emerged as the pharmacy to the world, both in the field of medical devices and drugs, with a strengthened medical device industry in the recent past. Through new technologies, large amounts of health data are being generated and stored. Electronic health records for all are a big step towards personalized medicine. Important innovation is also taking place in health service delivery in India. The country is actively engaged in conducting pilot projects on AI in healthcare, scaling up telemedicine to deliver health services in remote and rural areas. There are two other very significant initiatives that have been undertaken by the government of India in recent years, namely the Atal Innovation Mission to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, as well as Ayushman Bharat, the Indian Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's flagship program, which will provide 500 million people with cashless and paperless access to health services. A robust IP backbone will provide a technology platform which will serve as a key enabler to implement the scheme in a transparent and data-driven manner. Let me now turn to the core of the Global Innovation Index and break the suspense on the GII rankings of 2019. The top 10 ranked economies in 2019 
ladies and gentlemen, are as follows. First, Switzerland. Second, Sweden. Third, the United States of America. Fourth, the Netherlands. Fifth, the United Kingdom. Sixth, Finland. Seventh, Denmark. Eighth, Singapore. Ninth, Germany. And hold your breath, tenth, Israel. Switzerland has been the top performing economy in the GII for several years. It has consistently shown high performance for most of the indicators included in the index. Nine of the top 10 economies are the same as last year. The only economy breaking into the top 10 is Israel at the 10th position. It is important to point out that the year-on-year -year rank changes in the GII have to be interpreted with some caution as they can reflect changes in methodology and data availability as well. Now let us move to the very key question. Where does India stand in the 2019 ranking? In recent years, innovation has become central to the government of India's economic policy. Clearly, this focus is paying off. India has emerged as the most innovative economy in, in the Central and Southeast Asian region. What are India's innovation strengths? ICT exports, scientific publications, the quality of our univers the Indian universities, science and technology, clusters, rising international patent filings, process through the WIPO's Patent Cooperation Treaty. A growth of 27% was the highest growth rate among the top 15 countries last year. And the GII rankings, 81st in 2015, 66 in 2016, 60 in 2017, 57 in 2018, was hailed by India's Honorable Prime Minister, who remarked India has jumped 24 notches in four years. But where does India stand in 2019? Ladies and gentlemen, India stands at 52. Yet, this is yet another very significant jump of five notches in a year. 81 to 52 in just four to five years is, mind you, the biggest rise amongst the world's major economies. And, and if I may reiterate, the biggest rise amongst, of course, all major economies, it also brings India into the top 40% of the countries that we evaluate under the GII. Countries with notable rank improvements apart from India include the United States, China, Iceland, Vietnam, the Philippines, Argentina, Trinidad and Tobago, Rwanda, Egypt, to name a few. This is not an exhaustive list, and I apologize if I have inadvertently missed out naming any countries. India's rise in five years, from 81 to 52, stands out as a remarkable achievement, and in all likelihood, reflects improvements in India's innovation performance relative to all other countries. All countries are continually making efforts to increase their innovation expenditure and policy efforts, yet it is obvious that India is catching up more quickly. It is important to note that the GII ranks correlate with the level of economic development of countries. Developed countries, on an average, perform better in the GII as they have more resources at their disposal to invest in innovation. However, some economies do perform better as compared to the level of economic development. India is one such country which has clearly outperformed on innovation in recent years. Other middle-income countries that have done well in relative terms are Costa Rica, the only country in Latin America to do so, Georgia, the Philippines, South Africa, Thailand, and Vietnam. Finally, several sub-Saharan countries show innovation performance above their level of development, namely Kenya, Rwanda, Mozambique, Malawi, and Madagascar. For the last three years, the GII has published a complementary ranking of the world's top 100 science and technology hotspots around the world. It relies on millions of records of investors 
listed in patent documents and authors of scientific journal articles. The 2019 result confirms Tokyo, Yokohama's top rank, followed by Shenzhen, Hong Kong, and Seoul, Beijing at four, and San Jose, California, USA at five, swapped ranks compared to last year. The United States, with 26 hotspots, still hosts the largest number of innovation hotspots, followed by China with 19, one more than in 18, 2018. But significantly, three Indian clusters, Bengaluru, New Delhi, and Mumbai, feature in the top 100 list, attesting to India's presence in the global innovation economy. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, the objective of my report was to briefly distill the key findings of the Global Innovation Index 2019. The full report, which has just been released by our Honorable Chief Guest, contains more than 400 pages of analysis and detailed country profiles. This would be most helpful in tracking and monitoring innovation performance across the world. With this, I once again thank our Chief Guest, Honorable Minister for Commerce, Industry and Railways, for his kind presence on this occasion. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Director General Gadi for his leadership and guidance throughout the process. My gratitude also goes out to all the dignitaries attending this event for their kind presence, and in particular to the distinguished speakers from India as well as abroad who have participated in the panel discussions earlier today. I take this opportunity to thank our knowledge partners, the SALT Systems, and both the National Confederation of Industry, Brazil, and the Brazilian Micro and Small Business Support Service for their invaluable contributions to the Global Innovation Index. Last but not the least, I would like to express my gratitude to the Global Innovation Index co-editor, Professor Sumit Radratta, and Mr. Rafael Escolana Reynoso, both from Cornell University, and all my colleagues from WIPO, in particular, Carsten Fink, our chief economist, and Sasha Wunsch Wonson. Thank you once again for your patience, and thank you, uh, the Government of India and CII, for hosting this event. Thank you very much.